Hey, it's Brett with RecordingCrave.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. In this short video, I want to talk to you today about auditioning clips in Pro Tools and why you want to do that coming up next. <laughs> So let's jump into this. One of the main reasons I use the audition in, in the clip list is when I have a session like this with the aux groups and everything, I have 53 channels. And you can see over here, there's a lot more clips than that. And, and part of it is too, when I start breaking apart these clips, Pro Tools creates these little subcategories of clips here. But there's still a lot of clips, and there's a lot of clips that aren't in here. There's two versions of the song. There's a lighter version with uh, some mellower rock guitars, and then there's a heavier version with some hard-hitting guitars. And when I want to pull those guitars in, rather than going through every one and drag them on there to listen to it, you can audition the clip right from over here. How you do that is with your keyboard, you push Alt or Option, and then with your mouse, you just click on it. <laughs> And you can hear what's on that file. And you can go down through here. Now you may come across some of these, like this one here. Let's try this one. Okay, that's a really short section there, but let's try this one here. Okay, you don't hear anything on that. So there's another way to preview these clips without dragging them on to the session. And that is right click, come down here to reveal in workspace, and then you will see this file here. So when I was trying to preview that file, it was probably reading this first section here where there's no audio. But if I just, if I click on this part of the, the WAV file here, you can hear it play. And you can audition from here too. I prefer having this on these larger sessions because I can see where the file is. Like if I want to hear this vocal part. That kind of love that never lets me go. That changes everything. Or down here, there's an overhead. So this is, a, for me, a nice way to do it too. It's fairly quick. It's not as quick as scrubbing over here, but I can see what I'm dealing with more over here on the WAV file without pulling it into the session. So that's the second way to actually preview a clip. When you're trying to audition a clip, you may run into something like this. Let me just show you real quick. I'm gonna come up here to Setup, to the I.O. section, and I'm gonna, this, here's the audition path, and this is the output for that. You may run into, I'm gonna click no output there. You may run into this situation. So let's say we wanna listen to that. I'm gonna go over to my keyboard, push Alt, and then click on it, and then I get this warning here. You need to have a valid audition path in the I.O. setup to audition. So click OK, come back up here, and you go to the I.O. You come here and you choose, I chose monitor one and two, which is my main out. You can you can have a headphone set up where it just goes to your headphone, so not everyone, if you got other people in the room and you're mixing, they don't hear it. But you can set that up any way you want there. You click OK. Now, another thing is when you're dealing with MIDI files, a slightly different, so you come up here again to set up, and you go to preferences, and under the MIDI tab over here, you come over here to this default through instrument, and then you click on this. This might be set to none, actually, when, on yours. Come down here to the follows first selected MIDI track, and then click OK. Now, I don't have any MIDI tracks to audition right here, otherwise I would show you, but that's how that works. And this is one of the huge benefits. When you have a fairly large session, and you have multiple tracks that maybe aren't in your session yet, or maybe never will be, you can listen to them before you decide to pull them in. So anyway, I hope you found that beneficial. Thanks for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Have a great day.